The battle lines have been drawn. The battleground has been set. And that is the UFC Apex Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello once again, I am your boy, Nico Yasha, my lords and ladies. I like your boy. And we are about to begin this reaction video for NXT Battleground. And this is the main event of the evening. Former AEW superstar, All Ego, Ethan Page, will be challenging the current reigning and defending NXT champion, Tricky. Tricky, Tricky, Trick Williams. And this is Ethan Page's first WWE match. This is his NXT debut, and his first match is for the NXT Championship. That's right. When Ethan Page came out two weeks ago and attacked Trick Williams, he was not under contract with any organization. He was a free agent. His contract with AEW was already up. And now he has signed a deal with NXT. He is now... An NXT superstar, he is about to enter his first match, and his first match is against the NXT champion, Trick Williams, for the NXT championship. Nah, too early. I mean, he literally won the title like two months ago. He won the title two months ago. There's no way that they'll have him give up that title. Oh, man. Seriously, change that title back to what it originally was. Just straight up black and gold. No, no like rainbow colors or nothing like that. No disrespect, but come on. And here we go. The title match is underway. Trick Williams versus All Ego, Ethan Page. And Ethan Page coming out of the fist of flying. Oh, Ethan Page tried to go for that running knee shot into the corner. Caught the turnbuckle, so now that that knee might be tweaked a little bit. Trick Williams, a former Golden Glove champion himself. If there's one thing you don't want to do against Trick Williams, is throw in those hands. Trick 
Williams. Oh, what a jumping neck breaker! Oh, Ethan Page is definitely one of the crackiest wrestlers I've ever seen in any organization. Oh, ran him right into the stairs! Trick Williams is now in trouble. And if Trick isn't careful, he's going to lose that NXT championship this early in his title reign. Now he's still on the ground and pound again on Trick Williams in the middle of the ring. One full stop for him. I, I do know that. His first defense of the NXT Championship. His first defense. Now, Ethan's going to go for that running knee shot into the corner again. How can that play into his psyche here against Ethan? Uh, it's a fact that this big trick move. He's not a champion. He's going to continue to defend that knee once. I'm sure that's on his mind. Uh, I'm sure he's definitely going to go. And right there, that could be the big Ethan Page could get him to the dead in his chest. Hanging him out. Oh! Very interesting backbreaker. Oh, like a tiger backbreaker. Belly back suplex. Arguing with the referee is not going to win you a championship. You got to stay on him. Trying everything to get out of that bear hug, and Ethan Page just rams him right into the into the turnbuckle, right to the corner. Set up Trick in that corner, right on the top row. Trick 
was an iron survivor, became a number one contender. Ethan Page said one thing on Tuesday. His self-righteous attitude, he said that NXT, that Ava, the midsection of Trick Williams and Trick trying to fight his way out. It's not easy. Trick Williams now with a bear hug. Trick! It's fun out of it. Almost a tilt world DDT, almost like the rock. Trick Williams is definitely worn out. All ego Ethan Page has been doing what he does best. And that's wearing down his opponent to the point where he can slap that finishing move on him and win the match. Leg Lariat, another leg Lariat. Flapjack! And with a kip up, Trick Williams is back on his game. Whoa! He's trying to go for Kofi Kingston's move, Trouble in Paradise. Oh, but Ethan grabs him into that. That ring apron. And now Ethan Page is spilled right on the outside with the Irish whip from Trick Williams. Trick Williams with a crossbody to the outside. That he is, book. That he is. Trouble in paradise. Oh, Ethan kicks out at two. That was about two and a half. Trick Williams on the top row. Oh! Oh, right into that running knee of Ethan, of Ethan Page. That's that's his finishing move. That's one of his finishing moves. All you're doing is waking up Trick. That's the one thing you don't want to do. When you have your opponent down, you never want to wake up your opponent. <laughs> Knee to the knee to the gut stops the momentum. Trick Williams going for that Uranaki again. Oh, straight kick to the face and Uranaki. Rock bottom. Oh. Right into the, to the apron of the ring again. Trick answers with a clothesline. They're both on the outside. Oh no. Is Trick going to. He's going to suplex him onto the announce table. Ethan Page. Ethan Page. 
what a pepper slam right into the table. Ethan Page with a running power slam off the stairs into the announce table. And on his first night, his first match, Ken Page made history. Crucifix throwing bomb! Two! The title somehow was able to kick out. That was a throwing crucifix bomb. AKA the Razor's Edge, AKA the Border Toss. Just driving the champion through the table. And instead of arguing with the referee, Ethan needs to get back on his on his opponent. Ethan needs to be careful. He gets DQ'd in his first match. Oh, running knee shot! One, two. See, you take your eye off the ball, you're gonna lose the match. Still! by Ethan Page in his first night out. And that's all we got. This was the main event for NXT Battleground, everyone. Um, also, just want to let you guys know, Clash of the Castle, this coming Saturday at 2 p.m. It'll be live from Glasgow, Scotland. Well, not, not, not Glasgow, but it's going to be in Scotland. And the main event, one of the main events, is Drew McIntyre challenging Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship. Drew McIntyre at the first Clash of the Castle was close to winning the championship, but sadly he fell short. Hopefully this year will be a different story in the in the long, long career that is one Drew McIntyre. Guys, that's all for NXT Battleground. Thank you so much for watching the, these series of videos. I will have more reaction videos for you within the coming months for different events. I will have some stuff for you guys when it comes to me going to different conventions and whatnot. And hopefully, hopefully, um, 
I will get some people for the return of Miku Yasha's Corner. I know I haven't been able to do it for quite a while. Last time I did it was Christmas time last year. But if you are interested in becoming a guest on Negro Yasha's Corner, if you have Instagram, hit me up at Negro Yasha with a capital N. And hit me up with a message. Let me know that you are interested in being a part of Negro Yasha's Corner. It is my geek talk show here on Instagram. Well, well, on Instagram. And if you would like to be on it, let me know. If you want me to be with you at your place, for Negro Yasha's Corner, or if you feel comfortable doing it over Instagram, we can do it there as well. So everyone, once again, thank you very much, and whatever donations you have, um, you have given, I humbly thank you for that. I appreciate every dollar that you guys have, um, have donated, and I will be doing videos to let you know what I've been doing with, um, any donations that I've been given to by you, my lords and ladies, the fans of Negro Yasha and Negro Yasha's Corner. Yes. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And more videos will be coming soon, including videos that I had that I never was able to post um, from weeks and months and years. Um, that I will be posting here on my channel and Negro Yasha's Corner might actually be moving to this channel for the remain for the uh, the other seasons that I had already done and will be doing here on my channel here on YouTube. So once again, thank you guys and gals so much for watching these videos and I will catch you guys at the next video at the next event and as I say in all of my videos no matter what you do no matter where you go always and forever remember to wash your ass